Hi, I'm Evan Pantazzi. I wanted to welcome you back to uh, another question that's come up. Um, this time it was in the, uh, the forum. Uh, we have the forum here that um, has been going. I've been on a forum uh, daily from 1995. And um, this is the, the, the forum that's currently on uh, the QShow.com site. You can see that we have our subscribers um, sections, the general section that's free for anybody. Uh, with different questions on the living the Vichy, Twina, um, different things, um, places where people are studying, predictable, reproducible, the codex, you name it, we have it. Um, the, 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 again, since 1995, so think of that. That's um, that's a long time, man. That's <laughs> But there's a lot of information here. You can find out events and seminars. Um, you can uh, work with the Kyushu Jitsu Kokusai Shihankai um, and many different um, levels for our instructors. This is our coaching program. All right. So, uh, again, when you have a question, you can come on to our forum. It's right here on Kyushu.com uh, and just go to the forum. You have to be signed up, uh, but it doesn't cost you anything, so it's free. You can join the forum and start looking around, getting some answers to your questions. But um, uh, let's go back to this uh, last one uh, that was uh, posted, and this was on the Living Bubishi series. Um, John, uh, we were talking about um, a picture that I had posted uh, on the blog a while back, and the, these two pictures are from the Bubishi. And I asked them, why are these images different? And it wasn't the technique that we were going into. Um, he asked some questions. Oops, sorry about that. He asked some questions on the forum, and I answered a bit. So, but I'm a, I'm going to answer a little bit here also uh, on YouTube, uh, because again the questions come in from emails. They come in on the forum. They come in from YouTube. They come in on Twitter. They come in everywhere. And I just like to handle them. And we're going to try and make this uh, for YouTube all the time. Um, and I asked, uh, why are these images different? Okay. Now, in different bubishis, you have different drawings. Uh, let's go to Mabuni's um, uh, version as well. Um, Mabuni uh, had a version that was given to him by uh, Etosu's uh, sensei. And um, let me see, where is that? Okay, this is his book. Okay, and uh, throughout his book, a typical book, he's got kata postures, uh, explanations of doing them. Uh, a couple of different um, ideas here on different techniques, uh, as we've seen in so many. But here it comes. Um, this is uh, right from the Bubishi. Okay, and he has the postures that I hand. Why would he have put that in his book? Uh, it was very important uh, for him, obviously, uh, the, these postures. Um, I look at this and I see Weichi San Chin, but we'll get in that another day. But we look at these pictures now. The, his question was, could could they have been drawn by different people and using different styles? And I would say yes, but um, there are too many bubishis out there where we see these drawings. Um, this is the same same drawing or same artist that was drawing these poses. I believe that was one of them. Um, and we have to take this into consideration for sure. Um, one or other of his questions were, um, some of them are barefoot and some of them have shoes. Now, um, I don't see that discrepancy in this version, but uh, again, who knows? Well, here we go. Uh, his version even has someone with shoes, someone not with shoes. Uh, what that means, I haven't really bothered to look into that. He also asked if one was a tiger position and one was the crane position um, and uh, yes I suppose you could say that this is a, a tiger and this might be more of a crane depending on your application I mean either one could have been either uh, I've shown you in the Seiyuchin video how this could definitely be a black tiger technique um, this could be a white crane technique as well so it's not so much that uh, these these uh, pictures are very um, tough to uh, work around or, or see unless you have the keys. The keys of the bubishi are the uh, important things, not just seeing a target here or a target here, here and um, understanding what these um, targets actually do, but also the keys to getting to them or accessing them. And that, 
um, as I've always stated were these six G hand positions are the six hands of the Shaolin. All right, so um, I want to thank you, um, Jonathan, for your question. Um, the difference I'm not going to say on YouTube, uh, so it's sort of like clickbait, I guess, but there are two very distinct differences um, here, and it's not the tra the technique, it's not the shoes, it's it, there's something deeper that um, once you see this and you start going back to the Bubishi, it unlocks even more for you. Uh, so I, I urge you to s keep looking, and I also urge you to get out to the seminars because, um, as let me see who said this before, um, I had given this away at a seminar um, in uh, Rob Frappier of Canada. This is where I, I was up in Canada a couple weekends ago, and um, I let this slip, and uh, he said he caught the slip. So. Um, yeah, you know, get out to the seminars, especially the ones on, on the Living Bubishi, like the um, the Black Tiger and the White Crane methods, and we'll give you these answers. And once you see it, uh, it you'll be forever changed. Your um, looking at the Bubishi will be forever changed. Your understanding of Kyusho would be um, a totally different. Uh, and you can start to use the Bubishi as more of a training manual than an Enigma. So thanks for watching. Hope you got some information out of this that you can use. Hope to see you at a seminar too so you can train with us. Take care.